Okay, so this is a Spanish piece of eight. This is a eight reales from the Mexico Mint. This is Acer D Diego de Godoy. This was salvaged from the Natuna wreck, which was for some reason later dubbed the Spice Islands wreck. Um, however, this coin comes from the Riau Archipelago in Indonesia from a wreck near Natuna, and it's supposedly a pirate ship wreck. Now I'm involved with the salver. <laughs> and so I kind of figured I wanted to take a few of the coins and put them in bezels to make these nautical treasure bezel pendants. I don't really have much to work with because I don't really do jewelry. So what I'm going to do is I've already gone ahead and made the sterling silver frame. I chose not to use gold just because I'll, I'll probably screw it up. So just some standard sterling silver wire made so it fits the coin. And I'm going to do... Uh, shackle bales. I have some wire here that I picked up. It's kind of like this double round, double half round. Since I have to solder multiple things, I had to solder the silver wire together. So I made my initial piece here, and the coin's going to be in there like like so. Um, I'm going to put the little jump ring on now. I did hard solder for the top because this is going to be the first thing that I solder. And what I think I'm going to do next on the four clamps to hold it down to kind of give it like that uh, boat window look is I'll do medium on the tops you hear so it won't melt this here it won't melt where I fused the wire together and it won't melt and drop the the jump ring so I'll use the medium for these top two pieces here soft for the bottom two so anyway um, we're gonna see how this goes so torch-wise, what I'm using is a burns matic It's a pin torch. Works really nice. I think I got this at like uh, Swap Meet for two, three dollars. I'm gonna be using this to put that little donut on. I got the little donut soldered on there. It doesn't look so good right now. I need to take it over to the bench and do some filing and whatnot. And really, that's the, the donut part itself is not gonna be visible. We're gonna have, like I said, a shackle bale that is gonna go here. Now that I look at this smaller wire. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this. These top two will be medium, medium, soft, soft. That way nothing falls apart the soldering. And what I'll do on the top two is likely clamp them down most of the way and the bottom two I'm going to leave a bit open so the coin can fit in and I can close them down with a pair of pliers. I don't want to harm this coin in any way. I cleaned this coin myself via electrolysis. This thing was completely encrusted like a concretion of silver sulfite coral and all sorts of gook. So that's part of why it's kind of neat to, to frame this particular piece. Sadly, I didn't find it, but I helped back the person that did. So that's just as good. I'm starting on the prongs for the bezel. What I did was lay this across like this so I could mark where the clamps slash prongs would meet up on either side. I wanted them to be directly across from each other. I also wanted them to kind of go across from each other following the cross on the actual coin. I just take like the tiniest bit of this sticking out of these pliers and then I just twist it and once I have this here I'm going to cut that directly across so it matches on either side. And I make four of these total, two closed and then uh, two kind of in an L shape where they're open so I can slide the coin in and then take those two, last two clamp them down. All right, that's on. Now we just gotta draw a bead on this side. You can see I got the pin on. I went ahead and redid the front of this uh, pin because I didn't really like the way it looked. It wasn't big enough for me. It didn't really stand out. And it also had some pitting in it. When I drew this one, it, was a, it, it came in a little uh, short. So I had to also shorten it down. So I took that opportunity basically to fix this one. I really love this design. I like the way it looks. It's not gonna come off. You'd have to cut this to take this bale off. And I really like that because it means that this, this pendant will not fall off. The clamps, I'm just gonna mark where these go. I'm gonna solder these two on first with the medium solder. And then the two lower ones, we're gonna open these up into an L shape. The uh, clamps are all on. They're just not pushed down secure yet. But we have a piece that's like 
90% finished. Now it's just the finishing touches and that's it. That's how you make a, uh, a nautical bezel for a Spanish colonial piece of eight. The frame's done. I'm pretty excited. It's a sterling silver bezel. Like I said, no gold. The only thing left now to do is um, put the coin in. I left these top ones a little bit loose so we can slide it in and then clamp these down. This just slides in just like that. And then we can just take a pair of pliers, clamp it in, and it'll be in there uh, pretty good. Here it is. It's all finished. It turned out really nice. I really like it. It's a Spanish colonial shipwreck, eight reales, and a sterling silver bezel that I constructed just using some wire, some double half round for the clamps to hold it in. Did a shackle bail, which is not coming off. Uh, so this is on there good. Yeah, this, this is gonna stay on really nice. These are all nice and flush with the coin, so these aren't gonna snag on uh, your clothes or anything like that. It turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. I just wanted to see if I could do this. I think it turned out all right, so I'll probably do another one. If you've made something like this and you've got any tips, and I'll have a video why don't you leave a comment down below so I can check it out. I'd like to see how other people have done it. Again, this is from the uh, Natuna wreck, which is from the Riau Archipelago in Indonesia. The shipwreck, we believe, is from 1628, maybe 1629, since none of the coins date past 1628. I'll get more into the coins and stuff, I think, in another video, but yeah, I just wanted to do a little bench jewelry project, and this is what it was, so that's it.